Hello YouTube and welcome to my review of application and controller called the Dimex, which is a Android based application and it allows you to to control your DMX stage lighting from from your phone or from um, any Android device so no computer needed or or no router needed no wireless needed basically it connects straight from from your tablet or your device into a box like that which uh, one side is plugged into your light which is XLR socket and the other one is USB uh, just purely just to supply a power to the uh, to the controller there's no data going in and out so you can plug it into any USB socket um, um, or a hub or anything I've plugged mine already into the light into the uh, um, DMX lighting um, into the moving head and one side obviously into the socket um, um, over there into this white, char white charger and the other side as I said it's plugged into the um, into the moving head and from there I have another cable which is XLR female to male um, so basically out from this slide and in into this light this light is just standard RGB um, LED lighting well standard uh, it, it has DMX uh, protocol so it's a DMX light um, I call it standard um, let me just start this application and show you what it actually does so I load the application Let's see if I can focus on it Okay, so here you, you, you're going to be asked, uh, when you start the application for the first time, you will have to put the, the serial number of your, of your controller. So I'm just, I've just written down um, the number here. So let me just type it in and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so I type the number and just hit enter. And this is the screen you're going to see after that. Let's just focus again. Okay, so you have a few buttons here. Faders, Joe, uh, Joystick, um, uh, Scenes, and Chase. Um, we can see three faders here. But we can add more. So this light's got 13 channels. It's got three channels. So we're going to need some more channels, obviously. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to click Add. And there's a um, there's a tick, mm, I would say tick box, like 50 tick boxes came up, and you can by ticking it, you actually adding the faders. So let's just add. So I said 13. Okay, let's just add 13. I'm gonna close this. So we have 13 faders now. Um, so what do they do? They basically 13 channels. So what I can do, I can just, I don't know if you can see this, by moving the fader, I'm actually spinning the moving head, as well as um, turning this light um, red. Okay, so the second fader, what it does, it actually turns the, the light over there green, and what, what this is, this is a, uh, pan uh, but it's a fine pan I don't think you'll be able to see this the, the moving hair just moves slightly it's just for fine tuning the light anyway this one turns green so um, the third one it's till for the for the moving head and as well as is turning blue the, um, uh, the LED lighting so what we probably want to do we don't want to control them um, uh, together so we want control the the lighting individually so how can I do that I'm just gonna change every DMX lighting has got uh, obviously some kind of possibility to 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 select the channels which you want to which gonna occupy which this DMX gonna occupy um, so that, this one is on channel 1 as well as this so it's means that it starts on channel 1. This got 13 channels so it's actually going to occupy 13 channels and this one 3. So 1 to 13 it's occupied by this this light and 1 to 3 is occupied by that. So what we want to do, we want to start this from channel number 4. So enter. Okay now 
as you can see, I can control the light over there. And this one doesn't actually move because we set it to start from from 4. So if I go to channel number 4, this should be spinning the spinning the moving head. I should have re, re, restart the reset the um, the moving head so it goes back to the beginning anyway. Um, so the first three we can control this one the LED sorry it's a bit awkward to hold the camera and the phone and look to the camera and the footage not really used to that okay so um, number four da -da -da. it's over here okay and number six will be up and down so let's just, let's just set some scene um, okay so you can have up to 50 channels over here um, controlled. Uh, I mean, the light is controlled by by those faders. So, uh, what I can do, I can let's say decide. I don't want to be controlling. I want to be controlling only channel one, and let's say channel um, uh, let's say four. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to untick all the boxes. Okay, and what this does, like if you have only few lights, you don't really want to clutter the screen with with the faders. So just aren't gonna have two, and one is um, it's really difficult to see through the camera. But there's a there's a number right next to it. So this says this is number four, and this is number one. So I can just decide what I want to control and just leave those channels with which I want to control. Um, Okay, so let's just put them back again. Uh, this is just something I wanted to show you uh, the possibilities. There's plenty of them. I'm sure I'm not going to go through all of it today. Okay, so we have 13. Actually, we should have put some more because they say it's 13 and 3 it's 16. So let's do that. Uh, I don't actually even know what each one does. I know the first few so the first one, first three will be the red, green and blue yeah so let's turn this light red okay let's move the head pointing over there let's lift it up a bit and let's um, turn it on uh, I think it's one of those channels Oh, there, there we go. Sorry. Um, so, can we just take those channels down? So, um, nine, ten. Yeah, that is annoying. I should really have the manual for the for the light. So let's see this. So this is. Oh, I think this is red. Okay, that's great. So this would be my red, and I think yeah, this is the red. So this is basically just the strobe function. So I put it on full so it doesn't flicker or anything. And um, this is the intensity of the red. Okay, so let's just leave it red. And this pointing over there. So what we can do, we can save the scene. So let's go to um, uh, to scenes so we open the scenes and let's press save so if I hold this button it's gonna save this scene and let's just create another scene um, let's spin this light over there and let's say just change the color instead of red we're gonna have green and let's change the color of the LED over there to green as well. Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see this. Um, and let's call this scene number two. So we save it by holding it again. And now we can um, we can basically close the faders and and just just operate with um, uh, with clicking on the scenes, right? So so one and two. 
I mean, if you like to have the faders, but for me it looks a bit too messy. Uh, it's just way too many things that I have to scroll up and down. So probably when you program some scenes, you're not going to need the faders anymore. Just set up your scenes and do your show just by clicking on the um, on the saved um, scenes. So as you can see, they actually moving accordingly to um, to what you press. So this, as you can see changes uh, right so one two one okay um, now we can we can create some more but but what I wanted to show you is that we can actually if I go to uh, chase I open chase um, there's a you can you can select scenes here so let's do scene one on chase one yeah, on chase two we're gonna have scene two, and we set a time between those scenes. So by default it's ten seconds, but for the video it's a bit too much. So I'm just gonna change it to two seconds. So what that means, if I hit run, it's gonna stay on my first scene for two seconds, and then it's gonna go for to second scene for two seconds as well. So basically what it does, it stays in every scene for two seconds. Okay. So in fact, you can have more scenes and you can have uh, different timing between them. Um, what it also does, I'm just going to stop this. You can uh, you can r run those scenes smoothly. So if I press fade, what it does, it actually goes in smooth transition. As you can see, like you can't probably see it very well because of the light, but it takes two seconds for it to go from from position one to position two so let me just change it maybe let's do it for 10 seconds do this two seconds okay sorry I should do this both of them for 10 seconds okay so uh, run well smooth basically as you can see while this light is turning from red to green, it also turns into the um, into the right location. Now there's a 10 seconds um, pause on this um, a scene, and it goes back to the uh, back to the scene one, right? So if you wanted to go back on itself again, what we could do? I just stop this and put scene one there. Okay, so now we have and. I'll do this just one second. So now what we can do if we run, so from here it takes 10 seconds for, for this light to turn from red to green and it takes 10 seconds from this to, to go obviously to the second scene to so turn to green. And then what I did, it's coming now back, it's going to take 10 seconds to go back to the red and to the first position. So imagine if you set up your scenes and this is how the, the light's going to be going and, and you know you, you could have a pretty decent show. Um, so I'm not going to show you everything. Hi guys, I'm just let me just jump this. in for a second. I forgot one feature of the um, application. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, i just read on a new short video, I'm just going to uh, squeeze it in between um, uh, somewhere in the middle um, of, of, of the whole video, so let me just go in the. Um, j let me just connect quickly. Okay, so we have this control. And I, uh, what I did, I cha I changed this um, um, to be on 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 channel one, right? So number one will be um, uh, panning, and three will be tilting. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, on channel one. So if I would put it on channel three. Um, that just for demo purposes, channel four. Yeah. So yeah, um, if I enter it channel four, you can all see. So one, two, and three doesn't do anything. Number four, the 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 unit will start from number four. Which I already said before, but just bear with me. I'll show you where I'm going with this. So number four will um, uh, turn the uh, the head. Uh, but let's say we have um, um, like few lights and we want more than. 50 because you can add channels as I showed you before, but it's only up to um, 
it's only up to 50 if you can see so the last fader would be 50 so uh, like how can we get more channels so the the good thing over here I didn't explain this button is 1 to 50 so if I press this basically all these I'm not sure if you can see well all these channels like those 50 channels change the number so it's not one anymore but it's actually 51 so me moving those channels won't do anything because I'm moving 51 2 3 4 5 and so and so yeah so let me see um, what I, where I'm heading with this so let's say this slide would be on channel 51 uh, sorry 40 okay so 51 enter right so now this is channel 51 so I can control it here and I'm actually controlling channel 51 I'm not sure if you can see this 51 2 3 yeah so now I can add more channels and now I'm actually adding 50 up to a hundred see so let's say I even have more channels like more lights so what I could do I could click this button again and now I'm controlling from 101 to 151 so this again won't do anything to the light because this is controlling actually a 101 channel so if I would do here sorry now I'm gonna go to 101 the whole table is shaking Okay, 101 okay so basically now I'm back in a business I'm controlling 101 yeah so all the rest stays as, as it was like whatever I preset the settings for and and this 101 it doesn't touch any of the one two three four um, um, and up to a hundred channels it just controls from hundred up to 150 and we can go on and on and on up to 512 obviously so this is 250 up to 300 okay all right so this is all I wanted to say okay I'll let you just continue watching the uh, the video um, till the end can Cheers. open the faders up and yes I wanted to show you the joy this is quite a good thing so let's just um, um, if you turn on the joy let's just close everything else so it's not messy just leave the joy and what you can do here you can choose the channels so I'm gonna choose for my X um, uh, um, for my X gonna be is it four I said I think so so uh, four and five is just fine-tuning and six would be uh, X and Y yeah so what I can do I can now control this light see so up and down up and down right and left so I can point it wherever I like well, also what you can do you can you can latch it and so if you latch it you can it always come to the same position you see what I mean it comes always to the middle so I'll pull it wherever I want and then I leave it and it goes back to the to the first position okay so that would be the joy and obviously your 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 settings um, remain safe so that faders the scenes so we can have scene one and scene two um, that will be probably it for today I'm running low on the battery as well but yeah this is pretty much what you can do if you have any question comments please let me let me know in the comment section and goodbye